Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Precise Book Reviews. A universal story written by the world's most reputed writer. A narration full of the author's signature wit and an insightful book that may remain timeless. So, let us not waste any time and start today's discussion. The book that I just finished reading is titled Amnesty by Arvind Adiga. This book released in the month of February this year just before the lockdown. I couldn't get my hands on it due to the suspension of e-commerce deliveries during that time. So as soon as the lockdown was lifted, I placed my order for this book and finished reading it in a week. I have a very mixed response on this book and I am still not sure whether I loved or hated this book. The author of this book is regarded as one of the finest Indian writers in today's times. Adiga's debut novel, The White Tiger, won 2008 Booker Prize and he is the only fourth Indian to win this prize. Arvind has authored five novels including this one and his first book The White Tiger is my personal favorite. I will review that in a separate video. Arvind Adiga was actually a journalist and has worked with a very big news firm until he turned into an author. He wrote The White Tiger when he was a freelance journalist. Because of his past as a journalist, his writing is full of information on social issues, written with honesty, humor and frankness. Danny, formerly known as Dhananjaya Rajaratnam, is an illegal immigrant who lives in Sydney, Australia. He has been denied refugee status after he fled uh, from Sri Lanka. Working as a cleaner and living out of a grocery storeroom for three years, he has been trying to create a new identity for himself. And now he is as close as he is ever come to living a normal life. But then, one morning, Danny learns a female client of his has been murdered. The deed was done with a knife at a creek he had been to with her before and a jacket was left at the scene which he believes belongs to another of his clients. Now, if he speaks of his knowledge on this murder case to the authorities, then his status as an illegal immigrant will be known and he will be deported. The novel takes place throughout one day in Danny's life, from morning when he learns about the murder to the evening where he is still battling with the thoughts on what to do. As all Arvind Adiga's writing, it is a sociologist's insight. It shows how immigration is looked at in the West and how the system exploits the illegals. The moral struggle that Danny has to go through and the thoughts he has in his mind throughout the day are sometimes humorous and sometimes very insightful. How does Danny look at the system and sometimes his own friends who are illegal immigrants is written with wit. I will be frank here, I found it very difficult to complete this book. Not because of the length or complexity of the story, but only because I found the sentences within the book very disconnected. Different things and different views were written within a small para which makes the mind a little confused. And you will need patience to get through this. I had to read some sentences again just to understand where the story is flowing towards. Though it is just 247 pages, 
I feel it is at least a hundred pages extra. As Danny is a cleaner and this story is a course of one day in his life, the way he looks, that is, like an astronaut carrying a vacuum cleaner on his back, is something which is repeated too many times and it becomes a little irritated. You will be disappointed if you are looking for something like a cat and mouse story. This is an ordinary story but something which feels refreshing. Read this book if you want to know the plight of the illegal immigrants. I would still prefer his first book over this one. The political inquiry on this issue is something only a journalist can write. Even though it is a very lengthy and bit disconnected at times, it makes you think and feel a migrant's eye view. The observations by the author on the immigration topic are minute and desire to be seen by Danny is something you may love. I am sure after reading this book, you too will have a mixed response. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about this book. I have provided the link to buy this book on Amazon in the description below. If you want to watch more such reviews then please subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it with your friends.